how to do everybody what's happening hope we're all having a good weekend a good finishing up day to our weekend and yeah strap yourselves in for a pretty good sized pretty good size yeah looking over yeah yeah we got a good, good amount of stuff to look over today yeah pretty good size uh stream today Lots of good community showcase items to show off there. So, uh, but yeah, I hope we're all having a good one. Basic builder, I basic, barely recognize you there. You have that new thumbnail, have that new profile picture there. But uh, how we doing, Totter? Good to see you. Hey, Carlisle. Zebras holding the fort down. <laughs> yeah, Totter, Totter got us our Shrek outhouse for the week, and I'm very happy they submitted that because it's amazing. Yep. <laughs> What's up, Lana Leafly? Leafy, excuse me, good to see you. Hey, Moonlight and Lucas, what's up, buddy? We get to take a look at Greenfield Zoo, which was our thumbnail photo for the day. Always exciting when Lucas is ready to unveil a new section, or in our case today, a renovated section of Greenfield Zoo. It's always good to see that. What's up, BHK? Good to see you. And in fact, in fact, we're looking at something from you today as well, aren't we, if I remember right? You did, um, it was really cool. Maybe not. <laughs> Anyways, I thought I saw your name around somewhere. But anyway, so let's go ahead and we're gonna kick off today with the mods there. So always good to see virtual zoo tours in a Drew stream is more like it. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at our, what's up Harry, our first mods for the day. We're gonna go ahead and get going right away because we have a lot of stuff to get going through today. Um, let's look at the boar goats from Leaf. Now we are gonna be looking at a lot of uh, mods that we've already seen before. If you've been following the community showcases week in, week out. First off, thank you for doing that, that's awesome. Uh, and second off, uh, yeah, we are gonna look at some remastered mods. Um, I don't, uh, I do believe that modding got a bit of a breakthrough. I Again, I do know on the prop mod, the scenery mod end, um, I was talking to Leaf and Lion Rider last night about it, and they said that it has been streamlined and made a whole lot better. So I'm wondering if the um, the animal mods are kind of the same way, because uh, a lot of the animal uh, redos that we're seeing today, including the boar goat here, uh, they look absolutely fantastic. They look really, really good. So I'm not sure what's uh, what was made new about him but um you know it looks really good <laughs> hey what's up jay rastic this is basically jay rastic's episode today if you look at the description down below uh jay rastic fills the blueprint section uh they had a bit of a break and they are back and came back with a bunch of stuff to show off there ah excuse me i had to get a drink there so yeah really good stuff there from mr leaf always appreciate seeing awesome leaf mods but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. We have a lot of leaf mods today. A lot of leaf and Nicholas Lion Rider there. Uh, let's do the, yeah, the common dolphin. This is another one that is a redo. Oh, it's, it's uh, feeding time, so they're out of the water. So it looks a little weird, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, again, this is another redo. This is going to be the short-beaked common dolphin by Leaf, Jen, Buff Zoo. And they got, I think it's textures and stuff from Erica. So yeah, I think it looks amazing as well. Yep. Yep. Working on a sloth. I think I saw a sloth on the front page of Nexus when I went uh, logged in there this morning. So we may have released it. I could be mistaken. But there we go. Look at them there. You can see them swimming around. But they look really, really good. Look really, really good. So big shout out to all those awesome creators. Again, Leaf, Jen, Buff, and Buff Zoo for making these or redoing these awesome uh, animals there. Next up. Next up. Oh, yeah, the Golden Lion Tamarin. I definitely remember looking at this one when it first came out. But again, the redo makes it look 10 times better there. So this is the Golden Lion Tamarin, and this is going to be from Nicholas Lion Rider. Look at that. That would be a very noticeable addition to your zoo, right? Even though they're kind of small, like you put that inside of an enclosure, even if it's like an indoor one, you're going to notice that like immediately. <laughs> it's kind of hard to uh, hide Jay Rastic's additions this week. They kind of <laughs> they're kind of very noticeable there. But yeah, really cool. The golden tamarind, um, golden lion. Excuse me, golden lion tamarinds. So yeah, definitely get those into your zoos for a very eye popping, very noticeable addition. Uh, next one. Oh, this might be my favorite one. We have the golden or the gold. <laughs> yeah, the golden miniature donkey. No, the miniature donkey, and this is also from. 
Uh, Leaf, I believe. Yeah, Leaf and Lion Rider. Of course, those two work in tandem quite often. And yeah, there we go. Look at the um, miniature Donkeys. Hang out, see him outside the water. There he is. No, don't go in the water. Oh, they always like to swim. <laughs> They're always swimming. Um, do, 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 do. There was a pork. Yeah, the porcupine is broken at the moment. Uh, leaf is working on it. Uh, but yeah, the leaf for a lot of people um, crashes their games, and I am unfortunately one of them. We were supposed to show it off today. Uh, but yeah, again, it, it does crash uh, the game at the moment. So next week, we'll show it off next week. So it's Donkey! That's right, it's, it was perfect for this week to have the Shrek toilet, <laughs> the Shrek outhouse, and we also have Donkey! <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, that was pretty perfect there. So awesome stuff there from um, uh, Leaf and Lion Rider. Next animal. Oh yeah, another redo, the red fox. It's foxy. And yeah, this one might be up there with one of my favorite mods. I don't know what it is about it, like the fur texture and just everything about it. This looks really, really nice. Um, and I'm, I don't know what, maybe this is the Arctic Fox, but whatever animal they're based off of, uh, they do a lot of really cool, cutie, little, uh, cute little animations. So yeah, I think it might be the Arctic Fox. Um, if Leaf or anyone else is here that knows, uh, can correct me, do let me know. But yeah, really, really cool mod there. Where's the other one? Maybe it's running around doing fox things. Being a fox. There it is. Oh, it's laying down in the tall grass. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Look at that. I think it's beautiful, huh? Love the fox. Yeah, yeah, the mod's gorgeous. It is, right? Yeah, I, again, I think it's really, um, it's it's really high up there uh, as in terms of one of my favorite mods that they've made. So yeah, definitely get that. A big shout out again to um, Leaf. That was Leaf all by him, his lonesome there. Next up, let's do the Ecuadorian squirrel monkey. Again, I think we've seen this before, but it is a redo. That's the majority of the mods they are um, redos. After, oh, excuse me, got a little hiccup. Um, after update 1.8, again, modders and stuff, they were able to um, remaster a lot of their mods. So there must've been some sort of breakthrough or something. But look at these Ecuadorian squirrel monkeys. Love their um, hands, or are they paws or hands? I guess you'd say hands, right? Because they have um, five like us. <laughs> But yeah, they love the uh, the coloring on them. Look really cool. Again, speaking of you know a bright, vibrant addition to your uh, zoos. Oh look at that! Um, kind of like the golden tamarind, golden lion tamarind. This would be another one with the bright paws that they have, bright hands that they have. Yeah, the Kodiak red fox. Did I just say red fox? Yeah, the Kodiak red fox. So uh, yeah, that's really cool there from uh, Leaf again. Leaf solo leaf, solo leaf coming out the box. Uh, next up, let's do the Bolivian Gray Titi Monkey. These things look righteous. These things look like they would bite your nose and not even care. <laughs> but yeah, here's the um, the Bolivian Gray Titi Monkey from Leaf. From Leaf. Look at this thing. I've never heard of this thing or um, we may have seen it before, so maybe I've heard of it. I just kind of forgot about it. Um, so yeah, but I can't remember if this is a redo or a brand new one, but either way, look at that. Yo, what's up, Jonathan? Good to see you, buddy. Zebra, shout out to you for pulling uh, single duty today. Appreciate you. Ha! You switched them around? Yeah, nice. Cool. All right, next one. And again, big shout out to Leaf for that mod there. I was wondering, Harry, like it was so obvious just sitting there waiting for you to make the joke and you, you didn't do it. I was just like, the TT monkey? The titty monkey? Come on, Harry, come on. <laughs> uh, first stream in a while without any dinos. That's true. That's a good point, BHK. I didn't even think of that, but yeah, it is. We have no dinos this time around. A lot of monkeys though, right? Definitely have a lot of monkeys. Speaking of, here is the uh, tuft, what is it? The uh, Tuft Capuchin Monkey from Leaf. And I think this is a redo. I do remember uh, seeing this one, I do believe. Hey, what's up, Silver Fox? Good to see you, buddy. A 
Seabrus was doing a fine job holding down the fort by her lonesome there. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. Really awesome redo again of the tuft uh, capuchin monkey from Leaf. I love seeing the miniature donkey in the background. I, I gotta use the miniature donkey in a uh, in a build. Because that thing is just too good. That, the Kodiak Red Fox, and the... Oh, we haven't seen it yet. We're saving the best for last, possibly. Uh, let's look at the... I think we're almost to the end there. Yeah, the last um, animal, which is the large white pig! And this, this, these things are amazing. Look at these. And these are going to come to you from... Where's the pig on the list? I think it's Leaf. Where's the pig? Oh, you know what? I forgot to put in the Chintraps uh, Penguin. I'll put that in. Oh, yeah, there it is uh, from Leaf. Uh, that's It's the second to last one. We got to put in the Chinstrap Penguin as well. Uh, but anyways, look at these things. Along with the miniature donkeys and the Kodiak foxes. Um, yeah, this also might be one of my favorites this week. <laughs> oh, are the monkeys fighting? They're just playing. They love each other. <laughs> Every week makes me want to download mods more and more. Definitely try them out if you haven't. Don't forget that animal mods, uh, there's really no risk of busting your game. Even if you don't have animal mods installed and you load into a zoo that does have animal mods, uh, it won't break your game or crash your game or anything. All that will happen is you just won't see those animals in game. Where it gets a little bit tricky are scenery and prop mods. So if you're wanting to kind of get your feet wet, with modding and mods, I would recommend just, uh, yeah, look at the animal mods because there's really, uh, again, no uh, big repercussions from um, messing those up. And they're very, very easy to uh, install. Mods are extremely easy to install. Uh, Leaf, Lion Rider, and a few others have some really, really great uh, tutorials up on their uh, YouTube channels there. So just if you type in, you know, Planet Zoo, how to install mods on um, Google or YouTube, they'll probably pop their videos up there. Um, so yeah, definitely, you know, if you're a little bit nervous about modding, it is, it has come a long, long way and it is in a really, really good state right now. So, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and finish up the modding part of the showcase here with, uh, we need to get the chin strap penguin chin. There it is. And I believe we've seen this one before as well, uh, but it has just been remastered. It's like an album that's gone gold or platinum, you know, like 15, 20 years later, they, uh, they remaster it. It's like, here's Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven, remastered for the 85th time. All right, here's the Chinstrap Penguin. This is going to be from Leaf as well. Leaf was on a roll this week, redoing a lot of uh, their mods. So shout out to Leaf for going back and redoing uh, their mods, making them look even better than they do uh they did before look at this i love their feet it's almost like a ruby like a ruby purple or something like that right we yeah, love the chin strap penguin obviously has that very um identifiable chin strap black underneath of it there so yeah if you are in need of some more penguins for your zoos definitely get the chin strap penguin and if you search penguins on nexus which that's where you get all of these uh, mods from if you search for penguins on the planet zoo nexus you will find so so many you can make an entire zoo based around how many penguins we have um, modded in so there you go awesome hey good job there from our modder shout out to all of the modders for their amazing additions to the game week in week out and again if you're wanting to get into downloading mods uh, don't hesitate to either ask in chat if you have any questions about it or again look up some tutorials on YouTube, because uh, yeah, they're very, very easy to install. And as you can see, they add in a lot to uh, to the game for free. That's the other thing. Don't forget, they are completely free unless you feel like uh, throwing some bucks to the modders on Nexus, which you can totally do that as well. So awesome. Big, uh, big shout out to the modders. The penguin is such a strapping young... Get out. You're fired, Harry. <laughs> Cute as the end. Did you like that little waddle at the end? I'm glad we caught that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, the second penguin's the cool one. I agree with that little waddle. He knows what's up, right? Yeah, I agree. Dude, but a duck prop mod would be cool in game, right? Yeah, we do. We have like some mallards and there's some Canadian geese. Um, but that being said, I don't know if we just have like ducks. Like we have a mallard, you know, which is a... Now a mallard, uh, to my understanding, is a specific type of duck, right? But we don't have just like 
river ducks. I don't know how to explain like the subspecies of ducks. Hey, bird experts, come here. <laughs> um, yes, and endorsing all the mods if you can. It's kind of weird the way that endorsing um, works. Basically, endorsing is like liking a mod on Nexus, but you have to wait 15 minutes after you download a mod uh, to, to endorse it. So what I normally do is I'll download a mod and I'll keep that tab open and I'll load up Planet Zoo, make sure the mod's working, you know, install it, um, put it into my zoo and everything. And then by that time, it's been about 10 to 20 minutes. So you can go back and um, hit the endorse button or the, you know, the like button on Nexus. So not sure why it's like that, but you know, we kind of uh, exist within the world we're in. So, <laughs> uh, but cool, let's go ahead and go over to our blueprint section here and to kick us off, as he has done the last two or three weeks in a row, we're gonna look at Sawdust's uh, collection of items here. So the first one is going to be, oh, okay, uh, it's gonna be the waste management garbage truck uh, from Sawdust. So here you go. I think he said this is a redo of uh, Nicholas's, so I'm assuming Lion Rider's waste management uh, thing. And also, I didn't. There was no link for the waste management sign here in the uh, Steam management or the Steam uh, workshop page. But I'm sure if you just type in waste management, you know, logo, um, you can it'll come up. You can put it there because it is a really really nice looking truck. Um, it has a similar style and vibe to it to the uh, what did they what did he do last week? Oh, U-Haul. Remember last week saw us did a U-Haul truck that looked very very similar uh, to this. So yeah. There is the waste management truck there. And then also we have the 360 degree exhibits uh, from Sada. So yeah, these are really cool looking. You can imagine putting these in like the middle of a plaza or like almost like a mall, right? You'd almost imagine seeing these in like a, a mall plaza. Uh, we have loads of ducks as new species mods. And yes, mallards are just a... Uh, just your standard duck. There are loads of other types of ducks not called ducks, though, such as teals. Ah, T-I-L. And there you go. Um, whoever asked before, there are loads of standalone uh, ducks species on there. So, And then, yeah, a lot of um, really... I like this addition. I like how he uh, used the uh, prop mod here to have it on the side of the glass. Um, and that is the other thing. These are filled with... Um, mods scenery mods there's like uh, palm packs and jurassic world packs and bird packs and exhibit packs so uh, check the description um of his uh, of the steam workshop uh things to get all the mods and everything but yeah shout out to sawdust for all of these great blueprints there next up this is i love this build um i don't know if becca's here or not but this is absolutely one of my favorite builds I've seen in a while, just because of the the scaling of it. It is I'm kind of like doing this type of build right now with the uh, Europe Pack Mini Zoo uh, series that I have going on. So I just I like relate to this build so much right now. But look at the scaling of it. Um, if you need a point of reference, this Scarecrow that we just got with the Planet Zoo Europe Pack is about the same size as a in-game guest. It's kind of the new Frank <laughs> a little bit. Um, but anyways, yeah, look at the scaling of this. Absolutely perfect. I love the teeny tiny house. Like you have this little garden out here too. Like, yeah. Um, also really, really good use of the new decals. Don't forget if you um, have the Planet Zoo Europe Pack, we have these new decals that we can use to kind of give building some age and, you know, put some, uh, some grunge and some moss and stuff on there. But yeah, really cool addition. Um, not my Frank, yeah, right. Um, but really, really cool addition. I'm actually gonna probably um, credit her, but use this in my, uh, the Planet Zoo Europe Pack mini zoo that I'm building. Uh, Cause yeah, again, it's, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. So yeah, big shout out to Becca Boo there. Next up, the reason why I'm sure everyone is here from Aranosaurus Gaming. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at Shrek's toilet featuring Donkey earlier. But yeah, let's go around. And um, yeah, this is gonna be from, I think Totter was the one who said that, that they built this. But yeah, here is, uh, here's Shrek's toilet. So, oh, it feels like there should be like God rays like coming down just like, my child, I present to you Shrek's toilet. So there you go. There, thank you, Totter, yes, yes. <laughs> so there you go, that's, that's the moment that everyone was waiting for. It finally happened, it came to light. Shrek's toilet. You are, yes, exactly. No one else needs to try anymore after that because Art Incarnate is is right there. Uh, shout out to Totter for that. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, next up from, yeah, good. BHK is here for sure. Let me get a drink of water. I'm just so thirsty today. Ah, 
so, so thirsty. And my mistake is I kept drinking pop. <laughs> I woke up first thing in the morning. I was like, damn, I'm thirsty. And then I had a pop to drink. I was like, oh, yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> yes, exactly, Harry. Yep. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at, from BHK, uh, Young Timer Carnivore Fence and Young Timer Fence. Uh, so yeah, the one on the left here is the Young Timer Carnivore Fence, a little bit more beefed up. Got some chain link and everything there, so really cool addition if you're kind of going for that um, kind of modern, sleek uh, zoo look. And on the right, a little bit smaller version of them. We have the uh, Young Timer, just regular fence here, so... Yeah, there you go. Really cool addition. I like the uh, mix of the steel beams and the wood there. So, uh, yeah, really good build there from BHK. Some uh, about four new fence types for y'all. Yeah, how small it looks compared to the domes. No kidding, right? No kidding. Those domes are awesome. Speaking of those domes, we are actually moving on over to them, but we're not going to go to them first. We have a few things to get to first. So we're going to go look at a bunch of stuff from J. Rassic. All of these... Um, items here from J. Rassic. So, um, yeah, again, J. Rassic was gone for a little bit, uh, but it has returned, and it has returned with all of the most random things that you've seen, whether it is relating to zoos, World War II, or realistic door panels. <laughs> we get a little bit of everything from J. Rassic this week. So, first up, we have uh, the World War II Gatlin gun. And, I mean, this looks freaking awesome. Actually, what did you use... Oh, this is that new, yeah, the new, new uh, Europe Pack um, window shutter hinge. And look at that, it looks just like a, uh, a round or a magazine, doesn't it? That's awesome. Really cool use of, uh, of that piece there. Look, it even has a, as, a, as the... <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's on the Jurassic part of the show, exactly. Um, so there is that. And up next, next to it, we have the secured door. Really cool use of the um, the camera. Remember, this is the new camera. Well, I guess it's not so new anymore, but uh, from the Africa Pack. We got that uh, camera that you can put inside your exhibits, but it works really well for like a secured, uh, you almost picture like putting your thumbprint on there or your hand or something. Uh, but yeah, restricted access to the door there. Nice. Uh, next, look, look at the Omaha Zoo Desert Dome version 2.1 small from J. Rassic, and I don't, I think the one, yes, the one on the right, the boob on the right is the one. So let's go ahead, and this is the smaller version of it, so if you can't quite, or your computer can't quite handle the full-on version, you get a miniature version, that's the exit. <laughs> so those of you that have been to the Omaha Zoo, you'll have to let us know how J. Rassic did here. From what I've seen of the Omaha Zoo, because I do recognize this, where's the entrance, right here? I think so. Um, this is a really, really good re uh, representation of the shell there. So yeah, it is an empty shell. So if you want to do a recreation of the Omaha Zoo, you are more than welcome to do that. Or you can kind of turn it into whatever you want there. I've been playing a lot of uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 lately. So this kind of reminds me of the aviaries in uh, JWE2. <laughs> and we have all those new dinos from SibCDC. So there you go. So there is the uh, Desert Dome, but again, you know, uh, use your imagination a little bit if you want to change it up. You can make it the Forest Dome or, you know, the Tundra Dome, the uh, the WWE Smackdown Dome. You know, you can make it a little bit of a, whatever you want there. And then next to it, we have the, um, you know, the bigger version of it. The much bigger version of it. It looks like there's some terraforming done in here, but you can either use that. Oh, I like that up above. You have all the uh, spotlights for nighttime. We have some uh, pre-done terraforming done for you if you'd like to uh, use that little area for a lake it looks like or you can flatten it out and you know build something up yourself so yeah he's left a lot of room for uh, your own kind of creativity and got you all set up there so um there is that and then next to it holy cow this is one of my favorite things j rask has put out we have the uh oh no no wait first up first up first up i passed up the water treatment we have the water treatment center from J. Rassic. And look at this. This is a great addition to any backstage area. Very realistic. Look at the... Oh, you even have the water coming down. You have the uh, moss kind of starting to collect on top. Or the algae, excuse me. Uh, collecting on top of it there. But really awesome water treatment center. It would look amazing in anybody's uh, backstage areas. Look at all the pipes and utility work back here. Ooh, look at this. So even if you're playing like franchise mode... 
You even have like all the actual, you know, water pipes along mixed in with the uh, art shapes and stuff. Cause these are all art shapes, aren't they? Yeah. Or not even art shapes, so like the painted metal curves and stuff. Oh my gosh. It looks really, really good. Look at even the uh, little gutters down here and stuff. There's all those little details everywhere. Control room. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. And these are all billboards, aren't they? So if you, oh, they're um, re rectangles. You know, I would think uh, if you want, you could come in here and put your own billboards in. You could have uh, like little videos of like, um, outdoors or like e maybe even like videos of back in here and stuff like that so that's really cool set you up uh, with a bunch of really cool uh, control centers and heck yeah yeah I think that's gonna have to uh, be a staple of uh, all everyone's backstage areas so there you go the planet Z water treatment center so generically uh, named and everything for you you feel like the smaller dome looks uh, accurate because Omaha's dome is taller in vertical height. However, the other one looks more flat. Um, if I must like Indies. Oh, like Indiana's. Okay, nice. So you get a little bit of uh, a little bit of both worlds there. I see what you mean. Yeah, this one's a little bit uh, flatter on top where this one's more of the actual dome type. Yeah, so you get a little bit of a variation in the uh, shape and everything. Yeah, that's a good observation. Next up. Uh, last thing from J Rastic, we have the Utility Mega Blueprint. And before we get looking at this, uh, J Rastic, I remember you said to mention uh, something about this. Let me pull it up there. Uh, I may want to mention that the Mega Utility Blueprint is also available as a yes, that's it, uh, as a smaller blueprint version on the workshop for people that don't want or can't place such a high piece count blueprint for their PC or park. Uh, each, each pack is categorized by utility type, uh, so electrical, water, gas, and telecommunications. Uh, yeah, so if you uh, cannot handle or don't want to put down every single bit that you see right here, uh, J Rasic has split this up into subcategories of, again, like the water, power, all that kind of fun stuff there. But, you know, let's go ahead and take a look at all of this in one. This is essentially the backstage pack that we've been requesting for a long, long time now. So <laughs> pre-made utility uh, corridor. So you can just kind of place these all willy nilly as you'd like. Oh, these look so cool too. Those of you that have been wanting to make amazing backstage areas, J Rasica has you covered, my guy. Look at this, you even have like the, uh, the HVAC systems on the side here. It gets even more uh, like complicated as you go. The water and the power and uh, waste lines. Look at this back here, you have like a waste treatment area or power treatment area. Oh, you even have barbed wire using the new uh, lights. Holy cow. And remember, like you could even just come in here and, you know, take individual pieces from here, you know, edit and start grabbing individual pieces that you need. Because there's a lot to uh, take here. Oh, gas compression station. Everything's labeled for you. Security fences. It's a really good idea to use that for uh, barbed wire. Medium commercial gas main, industrial gas main and pipes. Tons of detail and everything. Large gas pipes, gridded, exterior gas main, some gas meters, uh, gas main and pipes, large gas pipes, non-gridded, a manhole sewer cover, water meters, large size water mains. Um, yeah, there's, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. What's down here? Commercial electric generator, a fire hydrant, satellite dishes, HVAC ventilation ducts, dual furnace 2.0, fire alarm control panel, fire sprinklers. What do those look like underneath? Oh, that's awesome. Uh, large fuse boxes, pad mounted transformers, and power relay station. Oh, this looks awesome. Using those uh, cables. Dude, this is so heckin' useful for backstage areas and looks so good. What's next to we here? We have a big like relay tower, it looks like, or cell towers. Yeah, cell phone towers. I have a really cool looking water tower. Oh, here we uh, we saw this used over in the water treatment plant. We have it um, individually now. Holy cow. What are these, like garage doors? Yeah, garage bay doors. Look at they're kind of open, but they'll probably be easy to like make them halfway open or you know fully closed or whatever. 
Water softener. <laughs> Exterior air exchange AC unit. Okay, here's all the HVAC units again. And then yeah, down here you have the um, power line transformers and then some really big power lines. Whew. Just wow, these are some of the most useful pieces for realistic builds. Incredible, yeah, this is. This is an absolutely incredible. This deserves all of the uh, different rewards and stuff on the Steam Workshop. So uh, yeah, again, definitely download this or at least at the minimum look through the subcategories um, of all of the different you know electricity and um, waste management and all that fun stuff if you uh, only want to get a few things but uh, yeah definitely check this out because that is a heck of an addition uh, for a blueprint there Mo and Mr. Domez you came just in time buddy we just looked at a bunch of stuff that would make you uh, make you go oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh my god a bunch of power relay stuff wastewater management systems water towers you name it man j rask has come through but anyways yeah so everyone check that out an awesome job from j rask that's a big welcome back from uh from j rask there next up second to last thing here for the blueprints how do you yeah how do you go about building that much right inspiration when the inspiration hits you know how it is you're just like yep i see it i'm gonna build it uh, but excuse me but anyways from lucas we're gonna see some more from lucas later on lucas 070 is bringing us the orangutan climbing frame number two because we've already seen one of these from lucas before but this is gonna be the second what's up uh christina good to see you buddy hope all is well in your neck of the woods there you work from home so you have a lot of spare time that's awesome that's awesome <laughs> Um, but anyways, yeah, here is the orangutan, orangutan climbing frames number two from Lucas. Look at how awesome these are. Super useful, isn't it? Like we're always saying, we always need some more uh, climbing structures. There's a very, like, small set of the community featuring Lucas, you know, and like Wyatt Andrews Workshop and a few others that just have honed in climbing structures in planet zoo and you know they always say they're like you know i just look up uh, reference photos or i look up you know google images or pinterest and you know i do the same thing but it's like it's really difficult to get the these tiny pieces to be or to manipulate them in such a way that works out just like the reference photos so it is it's a it's a special skill so i'm always appreciative whenever people upload uh climbing structures for our uh, primates and the like to the workshop there so yeah big shout out to lucas there and we'll see more from lucas later on and to finish this up here oh this is really cool i love this love this love this from i don't think we've seen something from them before but from sanchez sanchez uh we have the animal banner posts and um yeah here we go you just you see these in zoos all the time um but yeah these are billboards just kind of uh built into um, these kind of uh, posts here but yeah the, the billboards you do need to download all of them they give you the long mute swan you know they give you all the different kind of animals there's a whole bunch of a whole slew of animals that you can download um, they all have this kind of similar uh silhouette white silhouetted look to them and everything so yeah definitely check out the uh, steam workshop link but when you go to the steam workshop check out the google drive link so that you can download um you know all of these pictures and then go ahead and drop them into your um, Frontier Developments, Planet Zoo, User Media, and then they will go ahead and uh, you can put them wherever you want to on these because, yeah, they look really, really nice. I can imagine them on a long strip, a long plaza or uh, or the like, you know, just a whole bunch of animal posters. Or when you get into, like, a certain animal's area, right? If you're going into a wild boar area, you start to see the wild boar um, images start to pop up. Ah, there we go. So yeah, really, really good stuff there from everyone. Um, modders and blueprint um, people alike. So yeah, big shout out to all of them there. A lot of great stuff to uh, download this week. So awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's go ahead and boop on out. We have four, um, three zoos and one exhibit to look at. Let's see, yeah, one, two, three, yeah. So I guess actually you could say two zoos, one national park, and an exhibit there. Do, 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 do. Thought there was a narwhaler. Narwhaler. I don't think so. Maybe for next week. Um, all right, let's go ahead and look at the Zez here. We will start with City Park Zoo. Oops, I did not link this. 
let me do that right now while it's loading. Uh, City Park Zoo is from Sawdust, and it requires all of the mods. <laughs> Sawdust linked this to me uh, earlier in the week, trying to get it to uh, work, and he gave me the original list of mods. He's like, yeah, this this should do it. And then I, I put it in, and then it crashed, and he's like, oh, wait, I have this mod, too. And then I, I put in another one, and it crashed, and he's like, oh, wait, I have this mod, too. And then he finally sent me his, his mod list. I was like, oh, gosh, you just have all of the mods. Let me just let me download all the mods. So City Park Zoo by Sawdust. There we go, save. Uh, there you go, now we can go ahead and see that. So yeah, here we go, City Park Zoo. Doom, boom, boom. Have been working on some Planco stuff. May I submit that one of these weeks? Or is this, no, yeah, whenever you, uh, if you are feeling good about some Planet Zoo stuff, or excuse me, Planet Coaster stuff, definitely go ahead and submit it, uh, don't miss. Did I not get your submissions? I don't believe I did, Planet Leafy. Let me double check real quick before we uh, get into the zoo. But yeah, I don't believe I did. Razzle, Beth and Leaf, Lucas, Effect, EK77, Narwhaler, No, I did not plan it, Leafy. Um, you know what I think you did? Is you may have put it in workshop links. Let me look. Nope, I don't see it there either. So no, I'm not sure, buddy. Make sure you're uh, submitting to Community Showcase. Yeah, make sure you submit everything to Community Showcase because that is where I look at the things uh, for each week. <laughs> I got gotcha, you, Silver Fox. Um, but anyways, yeah, here is City Park Zoo um, from Sawdust. I do believe there were supposed to be some billboards. I may have missed them or I didn't see the link there, but uh, we'll still get the general uh, gist there. So, okay, cool, Planet Leaf. Yeah, we'll take a look at them uh, first thing next week. So, oh, look at this. Mercado del Plantea. Planeta. <laughs> I love this, this little city strip here. I've been seeing um, Sawdust post picture of this in a uh, discord all week there we have, we have the pizza and calzones even have interiors and everything too did a really good job on the interiors here's those u-haul trucks that we saw last week it's u-haul self-storage really cool so yeah, there's the little city strip there outside the uh like yeah the city park zoo let's head on in here Looks like there's like staff parking um, back. Oh, no, no, there's not. This is actually a skate park. Let's look at this first. Look at the outskirts of the zoo. Look at that. Oh, I think, um, wasn't it Sawdust that a few months ago, I think it was, submitted a skate park pack. A skate park pack. There it is. So, yeah, I'm starting to remember this. That's pretty cool. That's pretty dang cool. Was this? You see the gnome? Oh no! I thought this was <laughs> I thought this was a gnome's head from the top there, but no, it's a little maintenance vehicle. Fun. All right, let's go to the uh, entranceway of the city park zoo here. A nice little building entrance. I'm sure this must be like American flag right there. I like the uh, drapes or the shutters. So that's cool a little addition. All right, so we have an interior here. Looks like um, might be ready for an add-on later on, but let's head on out. Very nice. So there are some modded animals in here that we're not going to have. Um, the porcupine, I know, is supposed to be on the left as we go in here, but we don't currently have that. Um, but we do have the fox on the right-hand side. What's up, foxy fox there? <laughs> foxy fox. What are you? Oh, there we go. No, I'm just kidding. It's the raccoon. We have a raccoon on the um, left-hand side. The porcupine was supposed to be somewhere in here, but it's not going to be there. Hey, Martin, no worries, buddy. Welcome on in. We are looking at our first of uh, four zoos. We just finished up looking at mods and blueprints, so uh, you'll have to re rewind later on if you want to to look at those. Uh, let's go ahead and make our way through this way. Kind of going into an Asian-inspired area here. like these little stalls that we have. 
What is this? Oh, there we go. Um, oh, Indian elephants. That's cool. I like the little bridge going over the, uh, the creek there. Has the raccoon mod been updated? I believe it is ready for uh, 1.8, yes. Yep, the raccoon mod is working. It's the porcupine one that's not working currently. You tried to watch it in VR? I tried to do that um, a week ago and it did not work out too well for my emotion sickness, that is. <laughs> but it wasn't like full on VR. It was just like, you know, the screen in front of you and you can like pull it closer to you to like almost be inside the video. I like this, you have like the little sewer tank or the uh, the water pipe going across there. That's pretty cool. Let's head over this way towards the, looks like barn that's either being deconstructed or constructed. Oh, hey, what's this? Almost passed up the uh, the binturongs. Hey, binturongs. I love the binturongs. I love the binturongs, they're awesome. Nice little binturong habitat there. Who do we have here? Hey, there we go. We have the, um, what were these? We just saw these, right? What are you? The golden snub-nosed monkey. Just kidding. Did not just see these, but still, they are awesome monkey. Awesome looking monkeys. Monkey, monkey. Here we have the um, storks back there. We just saw those last week from Bongo, I believe it is. This is cool. I like this. He has the uh, blue tarps over it, as if like they're constructing the uh, bar in there or renovating it or something like that. I feel like the elephants need a bigger exhibit. I always feel like that for any ex uh, elephant exhibit, though. Even the world's biggest animal or elephant exhibit, wherever that is, I always feel like it needs to be bigger. Yeah, but you got some peacocks there. Right, yeah, little peacocks. They even have an interior where they can hang out. Really big interior. <clears throat> Make our way around. What do we have here? Might be an animal I don't have. Oh no, there it is. It is the um, Eurasian lynx. The brand new Eurasian lynx that we have. There's the follow deer. Looks like there might be an interior here. Oh yeah, the Eco Center. Let's head on in. No interior quite yet. Some wolves hanging out. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty good representation of a city park zoo. Not all the uh, exhibits, you know. Well, we would love them to be a little bit bigger. I like that, the little bath or shower over here. But we'd like them to be bigger. Sometimes, you know, these city park zoos especially either have budget, budgetary or land constraints that they kind of just have to do the best that they can. This is a really cool addition right here. This old uh, style or old timey looking uh, bath for the flamingo. It's kind of cool that he's standing right there in the uh, in the shower too. So there you go, there is City Park Zoo so far. I do feel as though we're gonna see a, oh, I didn't even notice that, look at the clock on there that they made. Um, but we're gonna see a, another addition to City Park Zoo in the future. So yeah, there you go, shout out to Sawdust and City Park Zoo so far. Let's see, up next, I think we'll look at Principality Zoo. Realistic, parentheses. And so there we go. Keep track of everything. Yeah, let's go to a Principality Zoo, realistic, and see what that is all about. Because that one looks pretty cool. Pretty cool, cool, cool. You hear a lot of people don't think elephants should be uh, kept in captivity anymore, right? Yep, you, you hear that a lot. There's uh, there's always some animals that are, you know, the hot button issue. You hear the arguments on both sides. Uh, that they don't have enough room so we shouldn't keep them there but also if we didn't keep them there then they probably would be poachered or you know poached to death or something so where's the happy medium what's the happy medium
Uh, but yeah, today I <laughs> I kind of goofed up. I was supposed to already have an episode of the Planet Zoo Europe Pack Mini Zoo out at 11 a.m. my time, which would have been 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, which would have been a perfect amount of time because uh, that would have been about an hour in between the video releasing and the stream happening. But anyways, that didn't happen because instead of 11 a.m., I put 11 p.m. as my upload time, like a dork. So now I'm kind of... Um, I might still upload it today, but I've been uploading every day. Like, when I do upload, it's at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, so... The way that the YouTube algo works, the algorithm, once you kind of start uploading at a certain time, it's like, oh, okay, I like when you upload at that time. I will promote your video more when you do that. And it's, it's yeah, 11 a.m. is my time, because when I don't upload at 11, oh my gosh, YouTube's like, no, I'm not going to show you video to anyone. So that video might just end up coming out, <laughs> coming out tomorrow instead. Yeah, I was sitting there, and it was like 11, 10, 11, 15, and I was like, okay, I mean... That's cool, no comments on the video yet. And then by like 11.30, I was like, what's going on? Usually at least like one or two people say something. And I was like, oh, well, it helps if the video is actually live. A video for Night Owl? Yeah, it was, I guess I could upload it like in the afternoon, right? So it would be like one, one or two o'clock in the morning for our uh, European friends and dinner time for us, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yet the elephants in captivity are helping the wild elephant population grow out in the wild. Oh, are they? That's interesting. That's interesting. I never thought of them uh, doing it that way. This is taking a little bit to load. That's how you know it's going to be either a big zoo or a big detailed zoo. Or both. <laughs> What's up, Haribo? Theme park designer extraordinaire. Teasing everyone with Planet Coaster 2 this morning. Or this afternoon. <laughs> if y'all didn't see on uh, shorts, YouTube shorts, Haribo. Uh, Haribo, Christina, and a few others are working on an awesome theme park in Planet Zoo. And um, yeah, they uploaded a like almost like a stop motion video this morning of a carousel moving and yeah, other things. So it almost looked like Planet Coaster 2 was confirmed. <laughs> Wonder just how big the zoo will be. I believe this is a fully completed zoo that takes up um, a good part of the map. So we will we'll probably only do the Spark Notes version of it. These these bigger zoos we could spend you know. Hours upon hours exploring all the inc uh, incredible details, but fortunately don't have the time to do that all day. Uh, so yeah, we will take a look at the the highlights, but that is up to you folks to download it and take a look at it throughout the week. Loading time is crazy. Thought that would just be my uh, shade notebook. Sorry. Oh, no worries. No worries. That's That just means there's a lot of good details to explore. But yeah, no, again, just to uh, reiterate, yeah, we will probably, you know, if we do skip over some things, apologies. Um, but with these bigger projects, um, it is almost impossible to see just about everything. And oh yeah, this looks really nice. Uh, so yeah, everyone be sure to download this and explore it throughout the week, especially explore it in Tejid Cam. Rename a guest Tejid Cam and you will go down in the guest perspective and be able to walk around like a guest. I think it's a really, really good perspective of these, um... Gosh, excuse me, I'm hiccuping so much today. Of these awesome projects there. But yeah, whoa! Whoa is right, huh? Whoa is right. I love the little neighborhood and stuff outside of it. Uh, but cool, let's go ahead and go through the main entrance. It's always the best place to start, is the beginning. And it looks like, look at this. They have like a train station entrance. Hey, Sylvan, good to see you, buddy. Hope you've, uh, hope everything has been going well for you. And here we go. We have the zoo by Nefect. Very good. And I'm glad Nefect is hanging out in chat with us as well. Yeah, love this modern looking train depot, train, train station there. And there you go. Here's our main entranceway. Very modern, very sleek looking. Really like that entrance building. We have the zoo shop. Awesome interior going on. 
Look at the gift shop here. Got some animals hanging out in here already. That's really, it is really, that's right, Moonlight. Yep, absolutely. That is real good. Cool. So we're going to be seeing some interiors today, it looks like. Oh, there you go. We'll get into the zoo. And there is your big, you know, reveal. As you come on in, you got this really big, cool looking plaza. Oh, I love these. This is like a newsstand. Oh, I'm going to pause it just for a second. It is stuttering just a little bit. We're getting about 20 uh, FPS when it's unpaused. But yeah, I love this like newsstand looking thing right there. That's amazing looking. But cool, let's go ahead and uh, go around here. I guess it's not too bad. I'll unpause it. So first up, we're met with some penguins. We got some penguins here. They look really, really cool. I love this um, habitat. It fits in really well with the uh, the entrance area. Let's head up over this way because this building caught my eye immediately. Because that custom roof is very custom, very roof. What'd you build this out of? Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> that would take forever. But it looks really freaking good. Yeah, I love this classic looking uh, building here. Yeah, a lot of... Uh... Oh, these are very, very old. This is like a cat house row here. There's several blueprints in the zoo that creators will uh, recognize. Ah, okay. But yeah, no, I can already, I already know people are going to be a uh, little iffy about this, but you know, you, you can tell what they were going for. It's a, uh, you know, overtime zoo, a, a period zoo. So yeah, they, they might not be the, you know, quote unquote best habitats, but it's, you know, it's a very realistic take on what you'd see. In a lot of modern zoos unfortunately fortunately kind of thing but they're getting better i love the pots up here really cool looking look at all those pieces right so this is a very um classic looking habitat here i love the look of it let's start right to left let's go right to left so you have our hippos hippo house Said something like that over there. We got their ostriches up front. Very cool. I love all the backstage stuff as well. So it looks like we have a um, basically like an African section. Ooh, look at all the grasses for the uh, gazelle. Very nice. All right, let's head back over this way. Who do we have here with this big habitat? Oh, there they are, uh, sun bears. I thought like he was climbing out of the tree. Feel sorry for them? Yeah, but it's a uh, good representation of, you know, how far a lot of uh, zoos have come, I guess. You know, if you want to look, look at the positive end of it. Kind of shows a lot of zoos have come a long, long way from uh, doing those types of habitats. This is cool looking. It's almost like a uh, like Norwegian or like not Norwegian, like a Viking, I guess. I don't know. But it's pretty awesome looking aviary here. Oh yeah, we have the flamingos hanging out in there. What's up, flamingos? They have a whole interior section as well. Huh, that's pretty cool. And they get to hang out over here uh, too. Oh, a big aviary behind there as well. Look at that. Oh, here we go. Here's the Indian rhinos. Oh, that's cool. I like that blueprint in the background there. Oh, and they're sharing it with the... Um, what are these things called? I always forget we have these. Oh, the sable antelope. Which has to be one of like the most underutilized animals in the entire game. Out of like all the zoos that I like, we always tour or exhibits that we see, sable antelope is hardly ever one that uh, people use. Which I kind of get, you know. I kind of get. But uh, I think we need some more sable antelope representation. Oh, there you go. With some more uh, what are these, the yalas. Nice. Really like the habitat design here. 
Very lush. Uh, Lincoln Park's historical lion house looked much like that only a few years ago. Now it's completely gutted and has supposedly one of the best African lion exhibits in the U.S. There you go. Perfect example, right? Of, um, you know, zoos evolving, ever evolving. Never being content, you know, with uh, where they're at. So, yeah. yeah. You started last February with the build. So many different gates and mesh pieces. So just about nearly a year of building. This is really cool. I like this um, island that you have here with the tunnel going back and forth that water is right disgusting but you know what it fits in there there is what is it the uh, mandrill yep Ooh, cool another classic looking habitat here yeah you have four different habitats off one house yeah very very uh, classic habitat so looks like we have okapi um something <laughs> oh the bongos and finally giraffe next to them and across uh, another similar thing where you have a house in the middle and oh no this is one big habitat it looks like for the elephants for african elephants oh no it's split up right here oh actually this almost reminds me of brickfield zoos a little bit but yeah the african elephants going all the way across around here so pretty big and then next to it, you have the uh, rhino. And those are the only two there. So yeah, rhino, African rhino and African uh, elephant there. Let's go in the interior here real quick. Oh yeah, look at that. You get a really neat interior with it. Very nice of you. Uh, yeah, it has a really cool vibe to it, doesn't it? Look at the shutters. Like, they you can tell they're built out of uh, specific little pieces with, like, the sun shining through it and stuff. Pretty dang cool. Yep, this is a really nice build. Really nice zoo. Let's keep making our way around. Making our way downtown. Walking fast. Ooh, look at that. Cool modern build here to say info and gifts so another info and gift shop yeah very nice ha, look at this a little water cooler a little pit stop in the middle of the zoo basically oh here we go it's gonna have the new restaurant in there no not quite but look at the in, uh, inside here you have like a salad bar oh that's so cool I love these booths. Really, really big. Open. Oh, that's a really cool view as you're walking up this way. Show me the chimps! <laughs> yeah, we gotta see some chimps, don't we? I wonder where they're at. Hopefully we stumble upon some. Wow, just there's so much to see everywhere you look. Oh, I think this is otters and orangutans. Yeah, look, there's an otter. It's always interesting to see the animal combinations that either zoos or people come up with. Like orangutans and otters. Who would know, who would have guessed? <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely lots of cool architecture. Yep. I love this building right here. I'm going to head inside here real quick. Whoa. Oh, we've seen this before. This is, um... Uh, this is from Haribo. I think this is, was Haribo and someone else. They did this build. That's really cool. Uh, what it is is a really, uh, in effect, did a really good job incorporating all these builds into like one zoo. You know what I mean? Like it's one thing just to plop a blueprint down and connect it with a path, but it's another to uh, very seamlessly get all of these to look very cohesive. Binturong House. And that brings us back over near the uh, entrance area. 
So let's zoom over to the left hand side. Looks like the exhibits get a little bit more open a little bit. There's the reindeer. Again, love all the backstage areas too. You get a lot of stable, uh, you know, like stables and stuff. Uh, over this way, looks like a, almost like a North American section. Yeah, that's yours. Yeah, yeah there you go. Nice again, really good uh, incorporation of blueprints. This is cool. Birds of Prey daily shows. Oh, this is really neat. Um, I think it was Lucas built something. Maybe this is Lucas's thing or built something similar for the Birds of Prey show. Yeah, that's really cool. So, hey, awesome. Let's go ahead and we are gonna boop on out. But yeah, no, th again, this is a zoo that you all should definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, oh, wait, one second. I wanna make sure I didn't miss like, a huge like interior build or something. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, kinda. <laughs> Hold on, I missed this entire house. We'll take a look at this and then we'll, we'll call it, uh, we'll go to the next one. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we have a, a reptile house or something. Look at all the detail in here. Tons and tons of detail all over the place. Nice, love it. Whoops. So, cool. Hey, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and back on out. Go, please go ahead and download that. Take a look at it because it is absolutely jam-packed with detail 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 and what's up savannah banana hope you're having a good day savannah is joining us tonight for some dungeons and dragons some dnd well, i don't think we're streaming it but um yeah we are uh, myself uh mass bandit duct tape forum Mr. Jaunty Sparrow Geekism and Savannah will be playing some Dungeons and Dragons together in Emilted campaign that we haven't played in for about six months. It's been quite a while since we played in Emilted, and uh, Mass Bandit's going to go ahead and be our dungeon master there. So, yeah. Hey, again, really good stuff. Uh, in effect, really, uh, really, really enjoyed touring your uh, your zoo there. Hey, what's up, G Rex? Glad to see you. Oh, nice! You're making your character right now. Heck yeah! What'd you uh, what'd you land on, as far as your uh, class and uh, you know all that fun stuff? So, uh, hey, let's go ahead and take a look at the beautiful and realistic sea lion exhibit made by uh, it might be Kaido or Hido or Hido. But yeah, let's take a look at this exhibit, one-off exhibit here. So first off. I love these archways as you come in here. It almost reminds me of like Atlantis or like very like fairy tale kind of look. But uh, yeah, love the archways as you kind of come in here. There's some really cool billboards as well that you can download for this build to make it look, you know, full on. Yeah, look at these really cool views you get. I love this uh, waterfall. It looks like it goes into like nothing, you know, like the, the nether basically. It's a surprise. Oh, are you a cat? Oh my gosh. If you're the cat, I'm going to freak out. Anyways. Um, yeah. And then look, I also like, uh, really, really like the incorporation. I believe this is um, the seats. I thought, uh, I thought when I first loaded in here, I thought this was uh, incorporating the new seats that we got. But you can still do that probably. Um, with this, you can take the new uh, seating thing that we got. I can't think of their actual name for it. Um, but yeah. There you go. Here's the sea lion exhibit. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. And you even have a backstage area for it as well. Yeah, there you go. Got some some lazies hanging out back here. Not the cat. Anything but the cat. And then here's their jail. Or I mean their uh <laughs> nope. I'm gonna let that slip stay in. That's their jail. <laughs> You're a sea lion? You go to jail. You go right to jail. Uh, this is cool too. If you wanted to, um, you know, kind of build off of this, they have started to uh, have a path go down uh, right here, so you can kind of continue this uh, zoo build or this build um, off if you really, really like how the Sea Lion Cove is looking uh, so far. So yeah, really good stuff there from uh, Hido. You're not the cat, but that would have been a good idea. You should have been the cat. <laughs> should have been that damn cat. 
right, next up, let's take a look at Warden Glade National Park 2.0. This is going to be from Bethany264. So, yeah, let's take a look at the uh, this national park here. Excited to see what we have in store here. So it might be another one where it uh, it loads for a little bit. Meow. No, you see, the thing is that cat doesn't say meow. Well, actually, no, it does to most of us, except for one person, Cal. But he's a druid, so he can talk to the cat. And the cat tells our druid that it's really sad and it wants to kill itself. It's, it's, it's very depressing, I know, but, so we think that the cat is not really a cat. We think the cat is, like, a human or something that was, like, turned into a cat for eternity. So he's like, I just want to end my life. I don't want to be a cat anymore. And there's nothing that will make me not be a cat. So yeah, whenever, we have to, like, trap it inside of a, a cage... Because whenever we, like, do battles or fights, it, like, tries to get out of the cage and um, impale itself on, like, an enemy sword or get eaten by spiders that we're fighting. Shut up, Domez! <laughs> that was a good one. Katniss Everdeen. You make joke, Domez, you, you go to jail. You go right to jail. He's an imposter cat. He is an imposter cat! He's sus. He's very sus, G-Rex. Don't we're, we don't we don't know what to think of this cat. We don't know what to think about the cat. And John didn't even think that we were gonna keep it. <laughs> we were just passing by it on the side of the road. And, uh, yeah, he was like, can you see a cat? And then we're like, we take it, basically. <laughs> we take it and keep it. And he's like, wait, if what? No, no, it's just a cat. We're like, yeah, no, we keep it. All right, here we go. We are in Warden Glade National Park 2.0 from Bethany264. Oh, yeah, that's this one. Uh, this is the one that they said is complete, quote unquote, but they might come back and do some more uh to it there so so this is gonna be another big old project that we will hit the spark notes of but please be sure to download it and uh check out all the details yourself there but yeah let's head on in to warden glade national park i love the foliage of this already the cat is ours that's right we were just like it's our cat now because it was just being all sad and mopey and we're just like, listen, cat, knock it off. Come with us. Be cool, man. Look at the full. I love the um, little bits of yellows and oranges um, that you've kind of sprinkled in there. I kind of forget that we have these off, you know, these seasonal foliage in there. But wow, wow, wow. I see some moose over here with the little bridge. There's a ton of really good detail in here. Yeah, y'all are going to need to download this. Uh, this park here. Oh, it's even set up for franchise mode. I see little solar panels kind of spread around. So this is totally set up for franchise mode. So if you just want to play this zoo, you can definitely just play, you know, actually play it with everything on. Holy cow. Here you have the fox's den. You got badger. I love all the little areas that they've separated this out into. Really, really good. Good use of um, the Arctic set. A lot of times when you're using the Arctic set, you can kind of get locked into this very um, specific kind of look. But it looks like they kind of use some plaster and Arctic um, sets kind of together. And yeah, it has a re really nice look to it. Yeah, really nice foliage work, right? Yep, we're definitely always about the foliage work here. So if you do some nice foliage work, we will commend you on it. TAF, right? We all like TAF. Thick-ass foliage. <laughs> Ooh, what was over here? I'm trying to see. Oh, Badger! Badger's in here somewhere. That's one of those... Oh, there it is. That's one of those animals that I still can't believe we actually have, like, officially in-game. Like, I see that, you know, someone's like, oh, I built a badger um, habitat. I'm like, wow, you used the modded badger? I'm like, oh, yeah, no, we actually have the badger, like, in-game. <laughs> 
Here's just some animals I never thought we would get. And yeah, badger is uh, definitely up there. What are you? Oh, what's up, little, uh, little meerkat? Oh, wow, it keeps going back here, too. Oh, that's so cool. It goes around the mountainscape here. Holy cow. you never seen a badger ever? You know, I've never seen a badger ever, either. Nope, never IRL seen a badger. I don't think that they're very common in zoos. I could be wrong on that, but... <clears throat> out of all the zoos I've ever been to... Um, I've never seen one there before honey badger don't care honey badger don't give a shit <laughs> what a classic what an absolute classic oh i love this uh park ranger tower over here i just started to play firewatch and that's what it reminds me of firewatch tower over there yeah me exactly yeah me too uh g-rex i think that's awesome especially as we're looking over this big vista right here Seeing little bits of, yeah, yellows and oranges kind of pop up all over. And also the little bits of, oh, this is cool. The terrain change down here. Look at this. Love this little, uh, like, it's not even like a shade structure. It's just like an art piece, but it looks really cool as you come down here and the terrain change. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's the the look there. There's the looky look. Hello, Lynx. You can even go underneath. What's under here? Ah, it's a box. What's up, box? I love boxes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Speaking of the seating. Oh, look at them. They're actually using it for the cougar. That's an interesting one to use it. Whenever I see uh, the seating, I always think of, you know, the sea lions or <clears throat> um, anything like that. Oh, wow. There's actually a talk going on. That's why they're there. This is heckin' cool. Look at the lights up above. Let's look at this at nighttime. I'm sorry, but this is like, this is a gamer moment right now. I'm having a total gamer moment at the moment. Like, you know, seeing the speaker do his thing, seeing all the people sitting down, seeing the cougar in the background, like, jumping around. This is just like peak gamer moment right now. I could sit here and watch this forever. See, that's the thing about, like, playing at Zoo and Frontier games. When they're, like, working full on, like, all the features and everything... Man, they are just, they're like, they're working. But in the meantime, when you have to fiddle around to get them to get the, to this spot, it's just like, <laughs> but it definitely pays off when you get it to that spot. It's just like, oh, dang. What a gamer moment. All right, let's keep going here. Yeah, let's head over this way. It looks like we have some more uh, semi-aquatic animals. What's in the box? Ooh, I like how the uh, details <clears throat> underneath here. Yeah, look at the uh, underwater area. Nice. Nice gross coloring of the uh, rocks there. Oh, cool. You get to see the fish spitting out. <clears throat> Here's the closest we'll get to having fish in game, everyone. <laughs> little dead sprites. I really like the little overhang section that they have here with the, the seating on top and the little overhang underneath and everything. That's cool. Yeah, all the different levels, like, you know, little bridges and different levels going everywhere. Looks really, really nice. Wolves Den, you got some Arctic wolves down there and timber wolves across from it. Ape Adventure. <clears throat> Someone was asking for chimpanzees earlier. Oh, wait. Chimps aren't apes, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> dum, da, dum, dum. I love the bright green color that they chose. Like the white and the highlighter green or neon green. It's a great park slash zoo. It is. It is. There's a monkey. Everyone say hi, monkey. Tell them that they're being a good monkey and do they? no other monkey is as good as them. Let's go inside. That's cool. I like the uh, use of the plant wall. I kind of forget that we have that a lot of times, to be honest with you. <clears throat> oh! Just kidding, we do have monkey. Everyone, here's whoever asked for chimp earlier. 
Here's Chimp. Yeah, chimps are apes. Okay, apes are essentially monkeys that don't have tails. Ah, T-I-L. T-I-L. There, well, there's your, there's your uh, chimp, chimp moments. We're ape, ape here. <laughs> ape. They are great apes. In fact, they, I agree. They are, they are the like maybe the greatest apes. He's not dead, G-Rex, shut up. He's just sleeping. Ape together, strong. Yeah, see, oh, baby ape. Look at the look that he's giving him. He's like, dude, are you serious right now, baby ape? That's a that a boy, you stand up and tell him. Get him. <laughs> I love watching the animals interact with each other. Um, anyways, all right, let's back on out here. I think that we got most of the zoo there. Again, we're not gonna see the, you know, all the little amazing details that they put in. I do apologize about that, but we would be here forever taking a look at it. And uh, yeah, no, just uh, please, please, please be sure to uh, check out this zoo, download it there, like it, favorite it, all that fun stuff. Uh, so that the creator knows that you appreciate all their hard work that they put into this because there is a bunch uh to kind of look over there so awesome 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 all right let's go ahead and back on out and look at the last zoo which is going to be from lucas it's going to be actually a renovation of asia quest from lucas's uh greenfield zoo so yeah this is work in progress update seven asia quest renovation so yeah, we've uh, we've seen a lot of this, but it just kind of got renovated. He got a re-inspired to look at, uh, relook at the uh, area. And humans are called uh, great apes. Oh, okay, I got you, Harry. I understand. Huh? That was that was a really good uh, build, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep, that was a that was a very very good uh, build. Warding Glade National Park again from. Uh, was it Bethany? Yeah, Bethany 264. Really good build. Yep, yeah, we going on a quest. Get your headlamps. Make a bologna sandwich. Tell your mom you're not coming back until 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 later on. Make sure you, your your walkman is charged. Bring your CD case. So that you have at least, you know, 10 CDs that you can listen to on the journey. At least. Pump up your, uh, your sneakers. Pump, 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 pump. So you don't hurt your feet, you know? Yeah, everyone tell everyone's mom that you're at their friend's house. Then the moms don't get confused that way. Do you know where little Timmy is always at? This this person's friend's house. Oh, okay. So yeah, throughout the week, um, again, I'm gonna upload the Europe Pack Mini Zoo, which actually will have an official name after this episode releases. <laughs> Um, thank you to all that commented different names for the zoo on the last episode. Uh, and then, yeah, we should have the first episode of Benton Amusement Park, Made in Planet Zoo, uploaded this week as well. Um, and I think either myself or Savannah are going to be working on Pine Mountain Sanctuary. Because old Zoofinator, Zoof is, a uh, taking a creative break from playing the zoo right now, which I totally understand. I've done that before for a month to three months before. Sometimes it's just nice to kind of take a break and recharge the batteries for an extended period of time. So yeah, I bet either Savannah or myself will jump back into Pine Mountain Sanctuary and get a build going for that. 
Have you done the Deer Valley yet? Doesn't sound familiar, so I don't think so. Hey, here we go. So let's go ahead and take a tour. Now, we're not going to tour this whole zoo. We have um, been touring this zoo since about the time that it started. Actually, I think, yeah, we've been looking at this since uh, the very first update. Um, so yeah, we've looked at this zoo in detail um, before. So we're just gonna take a look specifically at update seven to this, which is the Asia Quest uh, renovation. And yeah, big shout out to Lucas for all the time and effort that they put into uh, this amazing project there. So cool. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. It's yeah, it's time to quest. Everyone tell everyone that you're at Garrett's house. All right, so let's go ahead and enter in through the entranceway here to Asia Quest. Oh, oh, you meant for the um, Europe Pack Mini Zoo. Uh, yes and no. It kind of turned into something a little bit different, but the idea for Deer Valley is was the kicker for it. So that's all I'll say. I'll leave the rest to the, uh, the video there um, for you to watch. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like a... a blueprint or a, a community showcase item <laughs> all right so it has been a quite a few months since um we've been to greenfield zoo so i don't fully remember what everything looked like beforehand so we'll probably just look at all of asia quest um, but for those of you that are more familiar you can kind of chime in if you see some renovated things here so uh but yeah no this is a very very realistic uh build lucas is definitely one of the premier uh builders and pause it in uh, Planet Zoo for the realistic side of things. So if you are looking for a really cool realistic zoo to tour and get inspiration from, look no further than Greenfield Zoo. It is quite amazing there. Hey, thanks, uh, Jay Rastic, for all your submissions. Uh, good to have you back hanging out with us. And yeah, buddy, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you later. We'll talk at you later. I love the playground in the middle here. It's pretty awesome. I always mention, and I always forget, even after I mention that, uh, yeah, you see little playgrounds like this all over zoos. Even if it's not like a huge little, you know, playground, even if it's just like a little itty bitty thing like this, you see playgrounds all over zoos usually. Love this Zen garden area over here. This is absolutely spectacular. Set into here, it's like a tea house. Wow, look at the scale in here. Compared to the uh, person there, holy cow. Yeah, this looks really, really good with the new uh, restaurants and counter service stuff. Ah, very nice. Head out this way and that looks like there's maybe like a restroom or something over here. Yeah, just restrooms. Yeah, really cool garden and tea house area. Well, let's head over here inside. Ooh, there you go. Um, interior, look at some... What is it? What are you? Oh, the Clouded Leopard. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful in there. Really uh, dense looking. Look, you even have like a house over there. The scale is perfect. Like, it's really, really small, but, you know, still really good scale. Kind of come up this ramp here, get another side view. Huh. Oh, and then you even get some look at the sun bears and their uh, little cubs. That's a cool little view. Let's look at all the details everywhere. All the signs and just everything. Never seen the Cloud of Leopard and PZ. They're pretty adorable. They're up there with the Eurasian Lynx as um, a cute... Uh, what, what did you say they are? Like a medium cat or a small cat? I think the, that they're like a... Oh, there it goes. He has an outdoor section, too. Wow, that's so cool looking. With the netting. Make sure I didn't miss anything on this side. Doesn't look like it. And then, yeah, here's the um, another outdoor section. Yeah, the de exactly right. The details are just like everywhere you look. It's just, there's some more detail to look at. <laughs> medium cat, did I just make up a cat? No such thing as medium cats, probably. <laughs> oh, look at this, you have like a zipline course. 
Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I remember they uh, made this a blueprint before. Yeah, you have like a ropes course through the middle of the zoo right here. Oh, the chest, or the island section was built five years earlier. Nice. That's really cool. Like when we were down here from Gus view, you really can't see it, right? Like, and I mean, now that you know it's there and you're looking for it, you can kind of see it back there, but it's, it's heading back there really, really well. Huh. Where do you exit? And then you exit right here. Oh, that's a really cool use of the, uh, oh, this is the uh, staff trick where you put a staff member down with like one path underneath of them. Um, and then just kind of leave them there. They'll just kind of stand there looking like a, an attendant. I don't either. I, I don't know why medium cat it was held by review either. That was weird. <laughs> YouTube's gonna YouTube. I love this. Again, this is a really cool idea that um, I think Lucas saw from Wyatt when Wyatt did the Asian um, adventure or whatever it was in Thornton Hills Zoo. Where you have some animals that really don't like loud noises by humans so you know you kind of put them up on a hill really far away from humans and sure you know it's not really the best view but um it's still you know it's still good for the animal up there what animal do they use up here oh they put the uh the pangolin yeah, probably Harry. That's probably what it was. <laughs> Let's go down this way. That's another thing too, very subtle terrain changes. You know, it says we, we've been kind of very subtly going down. Um, and yeah, I've been really trying to utilize that in a lot of my new builds is just very subtle terrain changes um, here and there. And it, it adds a lot. It adds a whole lot to the vistas and perspectives that you see around your zoo. So yeah, look at this. Now we're just a little bit below and Get these really cool views of oh there you go you have the uh barbarusas barbarusas um below here and then up above i think is where the orangutans are because that's the orangutan climbing structures that we saw before in the workshop it's uh part there the the habitat design here is ridiculous what's in here There might be a modded animal I don't have here. There's a few modded animals um, that they have in here. And I might not have them all. Oh yeah, look, here you go. Here's the orangutans. And they're just built above the babarusas, but they can still go back and forth between their different islands. Wow, 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 wow. The, yeah, the habitat design here is insane. Absolutely insane. And then you have their backstage building, it looks like, right here. Yeah, then it can go in here. And you get even uh, guest interior views over here. This is like such a zoo. Oh, small clawed otter, okay. Oh, I thought I had that one. Um, no, I have the Eurasian otter installed. Not the small clawed. Or is the small clawed otter the one that we already have in game? I can't remember anymore. <laughs> Holy cow. So we have Lestari, Kulan, Dawi, and Turta. Hey, William! Holmes, what's up, buddy? <laughs> that was a good one. That felt that felt healthy. It felt healthy. The last time William was in here, I had COVID, so I couldn't really do a long, a good William. I love the interior section there. I totally missed it on our way um, in originally. Uh, but cool, yeah, really, really cool there. Uh, then we kind of keep going over there. <laughs> What's up, Leaf? That's a good instruction for uh, for Leaf there. <laughs> um, yeah, let's cross the bridge here. And again, this is really cool. As you're crossing the bridge, very subtly themed. But yeah, you go over the uh, you go over top the uh, the backstage area there. Yeah, Leaf. This this is the definition of insane. Like this is just this is a zoo. You know, like the the best compliment I can give Lucas right now is. You done built a zoo <laughs> in the best way possible, you know? These are the guys you work with IRL. Oh, nice. The, um, the tans. My AMD driver sometimes disappears or it's disabled. Then it says that my hardware doesn't match my drivers. I'm not sure. Computer nerds, help. 
Oh, this is cool. I do remember this, actually. Um, you added in these habitats and stuff right here, I believe. Right, this little section right here? Um, but that's pretty cool with the Indian rhinos and the peacocks. What do you have here? Again, I think this is an animal I don't have installed mod-wise. Oh, cape! Do, 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 do. Really cool aviaries. Look at oh, you got the macaws in the back too. Uh, I've got to walk my dogs now. They're getting restless. Oh, I totally understand that. My dog is uh, always wanting to go outside and everything. So yeah, cool. Have a good walk, buddy. Talk to you later. And here you go. Really cool. Oh, I love this. Holy cow. I don't know if this was renovated or not. I kind of feel like this wasn't. Or maybe it was. I don't know. But either way, I love the way this looks. Dude, you need to update yourself to Windows 11. Is that what it is? Windows 10 no good? Needs to be Windows 11? Look at that. Go back over this way. Oh, I love this exhibit with all the gravel pieces and rubble. All the Barney Rubble trouble. Oh, yeah. I'm, oh, that's right. I remember this a little bit. We had the butthole goose <laughs> hanging out, being a butthead to everyone. Yeah, and I remember coming through here. Looks really cool. With, like, what, the Nepal kind of theming. Always, I always think of um, Everest, the ride at Animal Kingdom. Thinking this uh, looks amazing. Oh, that's cool. A little padlock area. Huh. Oh, snow leopards? Okay. Nice. And then, yeah, then I think all the rest of that is like African section and stuff. This might be a little bit more of renovation, so. Um, do you know when you're gonna... Uh, right about now-ish, Leaf. We, I, uh, we just finished up uh, looking at the renovated um, Asian section there. Our Asia quest from Lucas, and that was the last thing on our things to do today. So, yeah, we're actually going to start to do the wrap up thing now. But, yeah, if you folks are the backstage behind the orangutan is new, thank you, thank you. That's why I always am happy when there's the uh, the creator in chat so I don't miss anything substantial. So, look at that, yeah, more backstage. We live backstage. We love a good backstage. Oh, wow. There's a lot of really good backstage here. <whistles> Greenfield Zoo Veterinary Hospital. Nice. Hell yeah. Nice, Leaf. Sounds good, buddy. Yep, we will go and hang out with you guys in just a second. Oh, look. Water treatment plants back here. Looks like it might be from Jurassic or something. Oh, that's cool. I like the little backstage hillside that you have going here. Wow. Yep, impressive as always, my friend. Impressive as always. Always look forward to seeing an update to Greenfield Zoo. So yeah, again, if you are looking for a zoo to come on in and pick apart and wrap your head around, you know, the realistic side of planet zoo uh greenfield zoo is a very good contender to just kind of come in here and again just 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 look at how you know how they design and how they build certain things and wrap your head around what they're doing there so really really cool so and hey if you have a zoo a um anything you know blueprint a mod whatever it is to submit be sure to join the discord channel there link as always is in the description down below Go ahead and submit to the community showcase area of the Discord, and we will feature it every single Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's 2 p.m. Eastern. And yeah, thanks so much, everyone, for submitting your items this week. Awesome, awesome stuff there as far as uh, mods, blueprints, and zoos go. And yeah, again, hopefully we see some more amazing submissions for next Sunday. 
And yeah, I can't wait to see everything from you all. But yeah, don't go far. Because uh, just jumping out really bummed you didn't download the billboards. Well, it happens. So anyways, uh, but yeah, if you don't want to, um, if you want to see some more Planet Zoo funness, fun times, uh, Leaf and Lion Rider are going to be streaming some stuff. <laughs> They're going to be streaming some uh, some Planet Zoo fun times there. So we will go ahead and raid on over uh, to them. So click on Leaf Productions name or if we can get a link to Leaf's channel uh, and go ahead and paste it in there. Mods, that would be spectacular.